Hello booktube, it's Thea and this is my Spookathon TBR. If you don't know, the Spookathon is a week-long readathon that takes place the third week in October. This year it's going to be happening from October 15th through the 21st and it's all about like thriller reads and like spooky reads and it was started by uh, Kayla from Books and Lala and Shannon from um, Bookerly and I'm so excited to be participating again this year. It's so much fun. It's a super kind of chill casual readathon. There are five challenges but you don't have to follow them. You can just read spooky reads or thriller reads. So I will really quickly just tell you about the challenges and what book I am going to be reading for each challenge. I do have five books but I don't know realistically if I'm going to get through all of them but let's just dive right in and show you guys what I plan on reading. Challenge one is to read a thriller and I'm going to go ahead and try to pick up Final Girls by Riley Sager. This came out last year and has been surfacing all over booktube the last year and I'm really excited to read this. This sounds just like the perfect like psychological thriller spooky read that I'm really looking forward to and really kind of needing right now. Um, but if you don't know this is about our main character Quincy who is part of a quote-unquote club known as the Final Girls and 10 years ago she went camping or she went on vacation with her friends and came back as the only and she was the only one left. She was the only one who escaped and the only one alive so she's the final girl alive in this in her situation and there are two other girls who are known as final girls. One of them winds up dead and now the other one is on Quincy's doorstep asking for what happened and wanting to find out answers and wanting to find out what really happened and it just sounds like it's a really kind of um edge of your seat type thriller. I'm really excited to dive into this. Challenge two is to read a book with purple on the cover and I'm going to go ahead and pick up Toil and Trouble, 15 Tales of Women in Witchcraft, edited by Jessica Spotsworth and Tess Sharp. This is an anthology that features stories about women and witchcraft in some way um, and it features authors like Brandi Colbert, Kay Hart, Emery Lard, Elizabeth May, Tess Sharp, Lindsay Smith, Jessica Spotswood, Robin Talley. So I'm really excited to dive into this. Um, it basically says here, history is filled with stories of women accused of witchcraft of, and of fearsome girls with arcane knowledge. Toil and Trouble features 15 stories of girls embracing their power, reclaiming their destinies, and using their magic to create, to curse, to cure, and to kill. This collection reveals a universal truth. There's nothing more powerful than a teenage girl who believes in herself. This sounds super feminist and involves witchcraft, and that's just a perfect combination. This is also the group read that they're doing, so I'm really excited to dive into this. And I always feel like anthologies are great to read during readathons because you can kind of read a couple stories a day and they kind of help break up some other novels. So I'm really excited to dive into this. Challenge three is to read a book that is not set in our current time period and current time period is up to interpretation. If you think anything within the last like 10 years is current or anything that's in the last 20 years is current, um, that's kind of up to you as far as what you think would be in the current time period. So for this challenge, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Jacoby by William Ritter. This definitely does not take place in our current time period. This takes place in 1892. And this isn't quite a thriller novel, but it's kind of more of like a, um, just like kind of a spooky atmospheric read and it's kind of like a dark Sherlock Holmes. Um, this was on my Spookathon TBR last year. Never got around to reading it, but I'm really excited to dive into this. This just sounds like it's gonna be like the perfect fall atmospheric read. If you don't know what it's about, it says here, newly arrived in New England in 1892 and in need of a job, Abigail meets R.F. Jacoby, an investigator of the unexplained with a keen eye for the extraordinary, including the ability to see supernatural beings. Abigail has a gift for noticing ordinary but important details, which makes her perfect for the position of Jacoby's assistant. On her first day, Abigail finds herself in the midst of a thrilling case. A serial killer is on the loose. The police, with the exception of the handsome detective Charlie King, are convinced their culprit is an ordinary villain. Jacoby is certain the foul deeds are on the work of an inhuman creature, the likes of which the authority are to, on the likes of which the authority deny. Doctor Who meets Sherlock in a debut novel, the first in a series, reaming with cheeky humor and a dose of the macabre. This just sounds like everything that's going to be perfect. I love Sherlock Holmes. I love Doctor Who. That just sounds like the perfect combination. And it's taking place in New England in 1892. And it just sounds like it's the perfect kind of fall atmospheric read. So I'm really excited to dive into this. 
And the next challenge is to read a book with a spooky word in the title. Again, this is kind of up to your interpretation as to what you find spooky. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. I adore Victoria Schwab and I have been waiting to read this because I knew I wanted to read it for the Spookathon. I knew I wanted to read it in October. Ghost is kind of a spooky word, so I knew that this was something I wanted to wait, and it has been so hard to wait to read this because I wanted to read it right when it came out because I just adore Victoria Schwab and her writing style, um, and I find her writing very quick and fast-paced, so this will be a really easy read to get done in a readathon. It's also middle grade. The font is pretty big, so this will be really fast to read during the readathon, and I'm just so excited to finally dive into this this um, and pick this up and read it first with that. Challenge five is to read a book with pictures in it and that's like if it's a graphic novel or comic book that has pictures that's great if it's just a book that has pictures throughout that's great as well. I didn't really know what I was going to do for this I had a couple ideas but I kind of wanted to just stick with trying to do five books so I kind of just went to the library I started browsing shelves I figured the best bet was going to be to like go to the children's section and find something that had pictures and that was also kind of spooky so I put to see this and that's called The Babysitter's Guide to Monster Hunting by Joe Ballerini. I had never heard of this this actually just came out last year um, and it says here, it's not every day you learn monsters are real, but every day is in Halloween. When first time babysitter Kelly loses baby Jacob to the monsters who live under his bed, she discovers a secret society of babysitters who help kick Toad, who help kick her kick Toady butt. Together they have to rescue Jacob before his parents get home or the boogeyman will bring his nightmares to life. All in a night's work. This sounds like it's just a kind of fun read. It does have pictures all throughout and the font is huge so if this is a children's middle grade novel it'll be a really quick easy read and it sounds like it'll be just kind of a fun book as well and I do have I do have an extra book in case I somehow by some miracle get through all of these and I still have time left over or I'm not really feeling those I do have Hocus Pocus and the all new sequel to go ahead and pick up this was a hold at the library that was ready and I figured if I didn't pick it up now I probably wasn't going to read it and it's the perfect October read um the first third of the book is just the novelization of Hocus Pocus and then this last two-thirds of the book is the sequel which takes place in 2018 following Max and Allison's daughter Poppy um, and this could apply to a couple different categories it could apply to reading a book with purple on the cover since she has um, since Mary has purple her purple hair it could also apply to a book that doesn't take place in our current time period because technically the first part of the book does take place 25 years ago and um, this thing is quite a chunker it's bigger than I thought it was but uh, I guess you could also say that it accounts for pictures because each chapter does have a picture in front of it so you could um, apply it to that as well but uh, I knew this wasn't something I wanted to pay full price for just because it's not getting very good reviews um, it's the literally just like the movie and novelization form and then the sequel is just okay um, but I figured it would be fun to go ahead and pick up so if I get around to finishing all of that I can go ahead and pick this up as well so here is my spookathon 2018 TBR are you guys participating if so what are you reading if you've read any of these I'd love any thoughts comments and opinions as always if you like this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe and click the little bell to get notified of when I post new videos happy October happy Halloween happy spookathon happy reading and I'll see you guys in the next video bye